setting up drip email campaigns in linked helper 2 using workflows so when you set up a campaign in linked helper 2 there's a couple of different tabs up here there's information which is the basic setup there is list how you're going to add the contacts to the queue you've got your dashboard and then your workflow is actually where you set up the action steps of what's going to happen so the very first thing that you would do if you're setting up a campaign for messaging is you've got to get something in the queue. So this plus symbol right here will open an action step. And then you have some various different things that you can go out and do. The first thing that we need to do is we actually need to invite some second connections. So when we click this, we can set it up right here. Now on the message, if you click that, click that, you can set up your message. Hey, I would like to join your uh, professional network. Thanks. Um, as far as the delay settings, this is going to tell you how many at a time they do uh, before taking a break. So remember, you're going to get so many actions in helper per day, whether that's uh, inviting, whether that's messaging. So you want to make sure that not one task overwhelms um, the entirety of what you have allotted for the day. So how many do you want to do before taking? Maybe you want to do 40 before taking a 60 minute break or something like that. So this is to obviously invite, but you've got to get a collection or a queue to invite. So that's exactly what this does. Open this up and then you can add contacts and you can add contacts from LinkedIn from your search page. That's essentially just setting up, hey, I'm searching for real estate agents in the US that are second connections, collect those. Um, if you are uploading some type of a list here, uh, you have that option as well. So once you have a number of these collected, you're gonna go back to your workflow and you're gonna see, you got your invited second connections right here, and then you've got the queue, the number. As those start to come in through here, and as those invitations are made, you need to understand that there's gonna be a secondary step. Now, I'm not the type of person who likes those automatic messages going to um, the people as soon as they connect. So what I do is I set up an additional action step right here, and I want to delay action, and that's all this is delay between actions and that sets that up one day so as I'm inviting I've got a basket that's being held for one day and then the next thing that I want to set up is my messages and those are gonna be messages to first connections remember if I've invited them they've accepted my connection they've been filtered down into a first connection basket now now I can go ahead and set that up now with this, of course, you've got to set up your message and that would be right here, whatever your intro message is right here. And then from that point, depending on how many messages you want to go out over what time period, you've got the ability to set that up. So this is my intro message, whatever else I'm going to send, I need to make sure there's a delay between those actions. So maybe I'm going to delay this, you know, five days after the intro message, I'm going to delay that five days and we're going to come down here and I'm going to get another message going, whatever that message is. Once again, set up a delay. Maybe I'm going to send another seven days after that message. I'm going to send an additional message. So this workflow, once it's structured and once the queue is filled up, all you have to do is start your campaign. And according to the limits and the settings that you have, it will go through and it will conduct the appropriate task um, continuously.